Hi book lovers, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking, well I'm going to be ranking some romance book covers. If you read romance, you probably already know about the whole discrete cover trend, the whole alternate cover, special edition cover trend that's been going on a lot lately. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of discrete covers, though I do like some alternate covers, but for today's video, I wanted to do something a little fun. I'm going to be T-ranking a bunch of discrete and alternate romance books covers, seeing which ones work or don't work, which ones that I love or hate. Obviously this is art so it is very subjective. I'm not out to make anyone feel bad or shit on anyone's cover art. I'm also limiting these covers. I mean there's still a lot of them but I am not including any like exclusive special editions that appeared in book boxes and you can't buy anymore. I'm only including covers that you can buy readily on Amazon or straight from the author's website. I have over 50 covers to go through today. There were a lot more than I thought there was gonna be. I only stuck with the authors that I you know heard about, that I cared about, that I've read before and even that was like over 50 books slash series. I'm also separating this into two categories. The first category are the alternate slash discrete covers that you can buy in paperback and then the second category are the ones that are only available in hardcover. All right so here's my tier ranking list and I'm using this cute little microphone that hopefully sounds good or at least sounds better than the one that I've used before. So here are the rankings on the left and then all the book covers that I found, the alternate and discrete covers. I am going to judge and rank these covers off of two criteria, whether I like the cover on its own, whether I like the series of covers on its own, and if I've read the book, whether the cover matches the vibe of the book, whether it matches like the content of what the book is about. So going through the ranks, for my top tier, my S tier, these are the talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing covers. If you've ever seen the Lady Gaga meme, this is where it's from. In order to be placed in this S tier for me, this cover has to be absolutely perfect and totally matches the vibe of the book and it might be even better than the original. For the A tier, the So Pretty tier, these are still covers that I love. So they're still gorgeous and they still fit the story, but they're not quite as perfect as the S tier. For the B tier, these are covers that I like. It's got a pretty cover and it may or may not fit with the book. C tier is one that I'm a little hesitant about. Like I don't know about this cover. I don't know how I feel about it. The cover is probably only okay for me and I prefer the original. B tier, these are the covers that could have been so much better. I'm just not a big fan of the cover and it probably doesn't fit with the book either. And then the F tier are the ones that I'm like, no thank you. I'm just not a fan of the cover and it doesn't fit with the book at all. So I'm just gonna go in the order that these covers show up. So I did try to organize them so that the authors stick together. So this first one is Twisted Love by Anna Huang. I honestly feel like Anna Huang started this whole trend of alternate covers. I mean she's obviously not the very first to ever do it. I feel like she started this recent trend at least and started it for TikTok. I personally i um, not a huge fan of these alternate covers and I definitely prefer the guys on the guy versions of these covers. I think my only issue is that the cover itself, like the background is so faint that you can barely tell what it is. Books two and four, you can see the objects on the cover a little bit better, but still, it's just really faint. So I'm just gonna put it in C tier. This next one is Blindside by Candy Steiner. I haven't read it yet, but I love the original covers for the series. The second book especially is so beautiful, but I just do not like this alternate, this discrete cover, because it reminds me of like a journal. It just doesn't look like a book cover to me. I have to put it in D tier because it could have been so much better, especially with such beautiful original covers. Amo Jones has a discrete cover for Antichrist and I actually really like how this cover looks so I'll put it in B tier. It just fits with the whole Antichrist title with the church background. I haven't read the book so I don't really know how um, religious it is but it's still a pretty cover and I do like it. For this next one I actually had no idea that there were even discrete covers for this series by Shell Bliss but I saw it on Amazon while I was looking and I really like them. I actually hmm I'm in between A and B, but I might just bump it into A. So this first one is Throttle Me, and I mean, it's got a weirdish cover just because of the tentacles, but if you look at the discrete covers for the entire series as a whole, I really like how they look because they look like 
tattoos and that's the whole premise of the series. The main characters in that series are tattoo artists so it just works and also it's just so much better looking than the original covers. I recently found out that Katherine Cowles put out discreet covers for her Tattered and Torn series so this is Tattered Stars. They're really beautiful but the thing that's bumping it down from A tier to B tier for me is that you can't tell that it's small tan romance and it's romantic suspense and also I do still love the original cover. One of my recent favorite reverse harem romance series is the St. View Prison series by Elle Thorpe and I love how these alternate covers look. I even bought them. I bought the special foiled editions of them and they just came in the mail today and they're so so beautiful. I love them. They are so gorgeous. I mean maybe I'm a little bit biased just because I love the series and yes you probably can't tell that it's reverse harem or anything but I do like the little details on the cover like there's a whole prison like fence thing at the top of it so it's still prison related but whatever I still love it so I'm putting it in A tier and then oh my gosh I am not a fan of these Willow Winters discreet covers at all she did them all this monochrome series for I think all of her books and I just can't deal with it. I don't like them, mainly because of how boring they look. They're just too simple for me and they look like, I don't know, classic books. And I get that the whole point is, you know, to own discreet covers of these books so no one knows what the book is about, but I hate the discreet trend anyway. So I'm just gonna put it in F tier because there's nothing really that I like about it. And also she doesn't put the title of the book on the covers, it's just the main couple's names. So I would get so confused about what the hell I was reading if I ever got these covers. These next three are from Corinne Michaels and she has such pretty discreet covers. I didn't realize that she had, that she made discreet covers for basically all of her books, but she did. This first one is Help Me Remember and I'm, I think this is one of her latest releases, if not the latest one, and it's a really pretty cover and I do like it. I would put it in A tier, but I would have no idea what the hell this book is about. So like it's just got flowers on it. It looks pretty, but I'm getting nothing else from it. So I'm putting it in B tier. The Salvation series got these covers and this one is a little bit better than Help Me Remember just because there's some little details about it that tells you what the book is about, like the the tags, the soldier tags. So it tells you, oh, this is gonna be a military romance. So I'll put it in A tier just because it's it's really pretty for me. And then this last one, I think it's called the Willow Creek Valley. I thought it was really interesting. It's definitely different from her other covers, which I appreciate because it's actually still got people on it. It's got this watercolor art style to it. It's got mountains in the back. I wouldn't say it's absolutely stunning for me, but I do really like it and I do appreciate that. She did something different with these covers for the series. And then for the Harlequin Crew series by Carolyn Peckham and Suzanne Valenti, these are interesting covers. I don't know how I feel about them. I mean, they're kind of nice, but also kind of weird. I don't know. I don't love them. I don't hate them. So it's like C tier for me. It's definitely very different from the original covers with the people on them, which actually do look really fun. But I personally wouldn't read the series based off of just this alternate cover. And then we have the Maid series by Daniel Laurie. This is one of my favorite mafia romance series. And these girl covers are so so pretty. I might actually love them even more than the originals just because the originals, I mean, they're okay, but the aesthetic of these girl covers are just so, so pretty. So I'm just going to stick them in S tier for me because I love them. And then we have Devney Perry who has like a million and one different covers for her books. She changes covers all the freaking time. And I only just found out that she had alternate covers for the Jameson Valley series, which I recently just finished and loved. And I think these are beautiful. They fit so perfectly well with the small town romance vibe. I mean, they've got, you know, these cute houses on them. The artwork is great. I love the style of it. I mean, the originals are really pretty too, but these ones, mm, I think they're even better. H.G. Carlton's newest release, Does It Hurt, just came out and they're there are two different covers for it and they're both so beautiful but one of them etches it out for me which is the original so I'll put this other one in A tier because I still do love it and it's gorgeous and there's still the whole lighthouse in the background it's really really pretty. For the Lies Hearts and Truth series by H. Hunting 
also known as Helena Haunting. This is her new adult college uh, romance series. It's like a spin-off of the Puck series and these covers are really cute but I don't know I like the originals more definitely and while these discrete covers aren't bad or anything it's just not really doing it for me either. I mean it's just like paper in the background, some hearts, like it's cute but nothing too amazing so I'll put it in C tier. Lauren Asher is a recent TikTok sensation. I did finally read her for the first time um, but this was not the book that I read. This one is Throttled and I think it's like a car related uh, series. I'm not sure but these alternate covers, I do like them. I love when these kind of covers have little details about what the book is about. I mean I'm assuming that the details are related to the book since I haven't read it yet but I like seeing objects on covers, on discrete covers, and I personally would have a hard time choosing between this discrete cover and the original, which is still pretty nice. These next three are by Rena Kent, and she's another author who basically gave every single one of her books discrete covers, and they do look really nice, but they kind of all look the same as well. I have read all three of them, and I will put Deviant King in B tier and Vow of Deception in B tier because the covers do look really cool and they do scream like dark romance but I'm not a huge fan of the God of Malice uh, discreet cover just because of the that skull it's just plopped on there and doesn't fit with the rest of the cover so I'll put it in C tier that's actually the book that I'm currently reading right now these next two are by Holly Renee and this first one is part of her Boys of Claremont series and oh my gosh I'm not gonna lie the first time that I saw these covers like she posted a graphic of the whole series with these alternate covers it literally looked like vaginas to me especially this one the taste of an enemy I mean it's pink, okay? They're supposed to be surfboards, but that line in the middle is not helping it, so I I can't. <laughs> this this cover, the covers for the series is F tier for me. And then her other one is actually for her fantasy book. I mean, she has a couple other alternate covers, but we don't really need to go into them because they basically look like the pink one. But this fantasy cover for A Kingdom of Stars and Shadows, it looks really nice and it looks obviously like a fantasy book, a fantasy romance, so I'll put it in B tier. The Priest series by Sierra Simone also got discrete covers, and of all books that need discrete anything, it's the Priest series, but I do not really love these flower covers. I mean, I personally don't love flower covers in general, so I'll put it in D tier because they're not ugly, you know, they're still really nice and pretty. I do like flowers okay, but I just don't love flowers only on a book cover because it tells me nothing, right? The only thing that you know about this book is based off the title. So yeah, it could have been so much better, so I'll put it in D tier. And then this is Lucas by Jamie McLean. I think this cover is adorable. I mean, for like a noodle contemporary romance, it's kind of perfect, so I'll put it in A tier. She also made discreet covers for her pieces duet, and I love how there's an actual puzzle on it. Again, I love all the objects and stuff, but it's not quite the wow cover for me, so I'll put it in B tier because I still like it. Moving on to Katie Robert. She has a discreet cover for The Dragon's Bride because that original cover literally has a dragon on it, but I love it. I love that clinch cover. So this one is just a pale comparison, but it's doing its job, right? It still looks pretty. It's just not, definitely not as good as the original dragon cover. Playing With Fire by LJ Shen. This is the alternate cover and it's not working just because it's giving off the vibe of like a rom-com with this you know illustrated cover and it's 100% not a rom-com at all it was actually pretty tragic I read it back when it came out and oh my gosh like the saddest thing happened like an actual child death was talked about so yeah no this is not working for me I'll put it in D tier and then my favorite Tay James also has a bunch of discreet covers for her books for her reverse harem romances her polyamorous romances we'll start off with the Madison Kate series this is a cute cover. I mean, I like them. They're just not really like anything amazing for me. I already own the original covers and I love them and I personally wouldn't even get the discrete ones even if I didn't own the originals. So I'll also put the Haiti series in C tier along with Madison Kate just because they have the same vibe and I'm just not a huge fan of covers for series that all look the same and just have different colors for them. It's just not really 
that's special for me. And then Tay James did change things up with the Guild series, but even though I love that she made these covers different, it doesn't work at all for me because these covers literally scream like small town romances to me and they're nothing at all like small town romances. I mean, these books are about mercenaries, about killers, anti-heroes, and anti-heroine. Like, this is a really cool series and this cover is giving Kristen Ashley, Samantha Young, Katherine Cowles, like small town romance authors and Tay James is not that. I will give props though to the second cover because there's some Stanley love on it, but other than that, I just... I'm not a huge fan of it, so I have to put it in F tier. For these next two, Carla Sorensen books, I have not read them yet. I've read her other books, but not these, which are probably her more popular books, and I know people love them, but the cover for Focused for the Ward Sister series, I think that's what it's called, I thought it was really interesting because it's got people on it. I think this is only the second one next to the Maid series by Daniel Laurie that actually has real people on it. And they're girls too, which is interesting. But I mean, it makes sense because original covers usually have guys, so alternate covers would have girls. But I really like these. They are basically the same as the original covers with the whole black and white. It's just that the original has the whole couple and not just the girl. So I mean, it's not that much of an improvement on the original, but I still like it. So B tier it is. For her sports romance series, I love them. I love how she did them because it actually looks like a sports romance with the, you know, the helmet and stuff. I love the artwork. So the series is called The Washington Wolves. This first book is The Bombshell Effect and honestly I love the discreet covers, these covers even more than the originals. Like if I read the series and I loved it, I would definitely buy these ones over the ones that have people on them. It's got everything that works for me. Like the, the actual cover just looks so pretty on its own. It's telling you exactly what the book is about. Actually, you know what? I'm convincing myself to put it in S tier because it's really, really nice. And then we have the two Parker S. Huntington alternate covers. I've only read Darling Venom, but I really love this pink cover. I mean, it's different and unique. It doesn't exactly tell you what the book's about, but still, it's pretty eye-catching. I still like the guy in the cover, but this pink one is working for me, so I'm putting it in A tier. And also, you know what, I'll probably also put this in A tier because both of them are amazing covers. I mean, she has great covers in general. And I mean, she writes contemporary romances, so it's not like these are giving off anything else. So it's working, putting them A tier. I had no idea that Kay Bromberg made alternate covers for this Everyday Hero series, but I do really like them just because it's got those objects that tell you exactly, you know, what the book is about, the police cuffs, the badges, and the caution tape at the top. So obviously it's like a cop romance. I really like them, but I also do like the guys on the covers too. But whatever, I'll put them in B tier. I had to include, of course, the Sophie Lark alternate covers. I know a lot of people love her and I love this alternate cover. The whole Brutal Birthright series recently just got these alternate covers and they're so so pretty. I love that it's got strawberries on this cover. I mean, if I hadn't read the book, I'd probably put it in A tier just because I'd be like, why strawberries? But it's actually got something to do with the book and I appreciate that about these alternate covers when they do that. So I'm gonna put it in S tier. Like the whole covers, like all the alternate covers for this series are just as great as this first one. So yeah, I have to put it in the top tier. On the other hand, the Kingmaker series, I'm not a big fan of just because, I don't know, these these covers look like fantasy romances to me. I know the first hero, his name is Leo, so there's a lion on it, but still, I'm just not a big fan of it. And the whole tattoo look for the series is only okay for me, so I have to put it in D tier. It definitely could have been so much better, like the um, the Brutal Birthright series. And then the Sinner's Duet also has these alternate covers with the snakes. I mean, they're, they're okay for me. I think it's because both books just look way too 
similar with the snakes. They're okay for me, so I'll put them in C tier. My girl Kennedy Ryan also had some alternate covers, and I love that our alternate covers still have people on them. I know they're still illustrated, but still, I do love people on my covers. And the Hoop series recently got these cute illustrated covers. I don't know if I love them more than the originals though, which is the only reason why I'm putting it in A tier and not S tier, because I mean, those guys on the original covers are absolutely stunning, so I'll put this in A tier. There's also discrete covers for the Kingmaker series and Queen Move, but I'm sadly not in love with this. I'm not a huge fan just because the cover is so faint. I don't really love the tan color of it either. It really could have been so much better, especially with the already pretty original covers, so I sadly have to put this in D tier. Okay, I know I said I wasn't including any covers from book boxes, but technically this one isn't exclusive anymore because Lucia Franco is selling this cover of Hush Hush on her own. You can either find it on her website or on Amazon, so it still counts for this list. On its own, I do like this cover, like it's interesting, it's unique, but compared to that original cover, which is so, so beautiful, I love that original cover. I'm just in between C tier and D tier because of that original cover. I mean, it's a lot to live up to. I didn't even like the book, but I am obsessed with that cover. Yeah, I'll just put it in C tier because not sure how I feel about it. And then Kylie Scott has a musician. I don't know if it's a rock star, but someone's a musician in her recent release. It's called Famous in a Small Town, and it's okay. Both covers actually are okay for me. It's just that both covers look heavily photoshopped for me. Like the objects don't look like they blend well, so it's okay. I'm putting it in C tier. And then the rest of these covers are in that second category that I mentioned earlier, where you can only find these covers in hardcovers. I'm not exactly sure why they did it this way, but hey, if you love hardcovers, if you love special covers, these are for you. So this first one is Love and Other Cursed Things by Kristen Becker Ritchie. The original cover has two girls on it, real girls on it, and then this alternate cover has the illustrated ones. I think it's really cute. I wouldn't say that I love this cover a lot, but it's working for me, so I'll put it in B tier. And then we have another LJ Shen book, but you guys, like these covers, I don't know about you, but these covers for the Boston Bell series literally look like fantasy romances to me. Even the taglines for these hardcover editions, like The Hunter, it says kingdoms are destined to be burned, and if that doesn't scream fantasy romance to you, I don't know what does. So these covers 100% don't even match these books. I mean, I haven't read them, but they're clearly not fantasy romances. So the cover and the vibe is just completely off and not working, so I have to put it in F tier. I haven't read the series by Megan Brandy. It's the Brayshaw series. It's high school, which is probably why I haven't read it. But the hardcovers have these pretty cool covers. So I like them. They've all got some sort of object on the hardcovers and I like the vibe of it. It's giving off, you know, dark romance. So I'll put it in B tier. Say You Swear is the other one that also has a hardcover edition with a different cover and it's really pretty for me and I like that it's got a football on it. So, you know, it's, you know that it's a, a sports romance. I love the colors on it and all the, the objects on it. So I'll put it in A tier. This next cover is for the Royal Hearts Academy series by Ashley Jade. I have read this first book, Cruel Prince, and I didn't love it. And while I like these covers on their own, it's just reminding me a lot of the Royal series by Erin Watt. That series is another high school bully romance. I mean, the covers aren't exactly the same, but it just looks, it's got the same vibe to it, so I'm not that in love with it. So I will stick this in C tier. Another author that I love, QB Tyler, has really pretty hardcovers, like special hardcovers, but my only complaint would be that I have no idea what the book would be about based on that cover alone. Like Love Unexpected, you would not know that this is an insanely steamy taboo romance between a girl and her stepfather. So as much as I would love to put it in C tier, I can only do B tier for these. And then for the St. Mary's Rebel series by Saffron A. Kent. These ones are really nice. I mean, I love illustrated covers with people on them, and I like the artist style too. The guys on the covers are still hot, but I still like these ones, so I'll put it in B tier. Coming up on one of the last few covers that I have to rank, this is Pucked by Helena Hunting. These ones 
are interesting because you can only get them on our website. You can't get them on Amazon. But since I didn't see anywhere that these were limited edition on our website, I'm including this on my list. I am not a huge fan of this one. I mean, yes, it screams hockey romance, but I just don't love the art of it, especially when all the covers have this exact same look with the puck, the ice, and the hockey stick. Again, I just don't like when covers have the exact same look for a series. I mean, yes, they can have the same vibe, so you can tell it's the same series, but I like them to be, you know, at least somewhat different. But the covers for the series, I mean, even the hockey stick, they all look exactly the same with the same angle. And then finally, for my last hardcover, this is Don't Kiss the Bride by Carrie Ann Cole. This is not a discreet cover. It's another pretty girl cover that I love. I mean, I'm coming to realize that I really love girl covers. So if we got more of them, I would love them. But I know they probably don't sell as well as guys on covers, but still, they're really pretty. And I have to put this in A tier. And I do really like that it's got the same vibe as the original cover, like the same art style. And then this last one, I didn't really know if I could technically include this one because it's not available for sale yet. I mean, it's on Gianna Darling's Amazon page, which is how I discovered it. But all of her Fallen Men series have these discreet covers. You can literally find them on our Amazon page. You just can't buy them yet. I mean, I know she has the girl covers, the girl hard covers, but I think those were limited edition. I have a feeling that these discreet ones might not be. So this is a ranking in advance. The thing is, I don't think I actually really like this art style. It's just not for me. I mean, I don't hate them. They're still cute, but compared to the original covers, I still definitely like the originals and the girl covers more than these. I do like that it's unique and different. I mean, different than all these other covers, but it's also giving me like that chalkboard that you find outside a restaurant and they just write the menu on it. Not that that's bad, but that's just what these covers are reminding me of. And that is it. I don't have any more covers left to rank. Let me know your thoughts on this whole list. I would love to hear your thoughts on how you would rank these covers or at least like some of these covers. Do you love this whole trend of discrete or alternate covers? Do you think it's just like authors wanting to make more money because they definitely have made more money off of me personally. I own quite a few in the ones from the S, A, and B tiers. And that is it for this tier ranking video. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll try to link all the covers that I found in the description below. There are a lot of them, so it might take me a while. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!